state in southwestern Nigeria was created in 1976. Bothering Lagos on the south, Oyo and Oshun on the north, Ondo on the east, and the Republic of Benin on the west, Ogun State is indeed the gateway to Nigeria. With 20 local government areas and a population of over 3.7 million people, Ogun State proudly boasts of nine registered universities, making it the state with the largest number of registered universities in Nigeria. We want to bring culture and tourism to its real position in Ogun State and in Nigeria as a whole. When we talk of tourism sites, we have so many sites in Ogun State. Oluma Tourist Center, the Belekisu uh, Tourist Center, which is in Ijebude as well. We have Osunre Spring at Imeko Afon in the West Central District, and all sorts. I live in Lagos. But I hail from Abel Kuta. Ogun State is a very good state. And we want people to come here and invest in the industry. We have a lot of things that are going for us. We have the culture, we have the tradition, we have the know how. We have the people in the villages who go to farm and cook, do the food for us. We have the people in the market doing crafts. We have the adire. Adire is our cloth. We want that to be manufactured and sent to the world is our heritage. The cultural team, cultural troupe, are made up of about 30 people. We have fantastic dancers. Uh, we have Balufo and the many others that they do. So our mission is, or our aim is, for us to make sure that they're in perfect shape, they get the perfect um, tutoring that would land us on Broadway. Adire actually is the Ogun State uniform before in the olden days and it's made by us. Let's see how we can use technology to improve the quality of our own output, to improve the quality of our packaging and now take it to international standard where we can now say all hotels in Ogun State would have Adire as their uniform, as their tablecloth, as their bed, uh, bed linen, name it. She Lagbaro <laughs> So okay. okay. Let me not see a roti could roll out here. I got it. So that's what I am a show. Debbie pay for my your white pay of for sure. For me, for your new way. Okay. For the light. Where they're making the adire, there's a part that the adire has to go through that they have to now beat it. While you're doing that, there might be some stones in that in the fabric. You see holes. So I don't think anybody would want to come and buy five yards of adire and get to England or get to Lagos 
get to their tailor and open the five yards and find out that three yards out of five has holes. Each one of these fabrics that I've used as my blind, can I get 150 pieces today? So in a year, in a year and a half, I would want to be able to order a thousand pieces of each and you'd give me a delivery date that has gone through quality control check in two, three weeks. And so it will be. So we're still going to keep the handmade ones and the handmade patterns. And we'll still have students or youths going through that training to learn that and keep that culture. Our culture and traditions are unique amongst our different tongues. Invest in our land and you will never regret it. up this rock like this nobody you see two areas dotted with like eyes and nose and come down a bit you see a, a bit jaw the cheek Ogun state is um, multi-tribal we're also multi-religious we have freedom of religion in Ogun state you can practice whatever you want like what is done in Jerusalem it can be here there are so many areas where we can show you not this particular rock. There's a particular place where you see that somebody is sitting on a horse. There's a particular place where you see that this is a knife, a cutlass, this is a spear, this is a Bible. And there's a particular place where the, the rock has splitted itself. You have different colors on the rock. This place is very dark around a rock. Another one is a bit white. Another one is white on this, this land. And there's a particular place where you have the Naira written. This uh, stream has been a source of water for the people of Imeko. This place, as it is, it is, you see, it's very natural. You don't need any chlorination, you don't need any other thing. If you have a creative investment, this place can serve as a source of uh, money making This beautiful and peaceful land is awash with cultural and historical sites, making it a major tourist haven. The land beckons. Take a look at me. I have much to offer. Beauty, agriculture, mineral resources, and tremendous space for future development. Use me well, and I will make you proud. The people appeal. Our land is beautiful. We have abundant resources. Our culture and traditions are unique amongst our different tongues. Invest in our land, and you will never regret it. Okusev is the town of place. Now people can come and invest. Well, you don't have anybody to embarrass you. We don't have anybody to 
to disturb you. Adokuta is very peaceful. The governor is a very nice person, a godly man, you know. And I believe uh, anybody that comes to Adokuta will enjoy it. Abe Okuda is a nice place. We have different tribes around here, all lovely people waiting to welcome people into our state. The government requests. We have opened the land up for trade and tourism. Tourism potentials are unlimited. We call on the world to visit our land and prosper as they invest for mutual growth. Ogun State is rich in everything. We're rich in culture. We're rich in everything you can think about. And with the team that Governor Ibikunle Amosu has now, Ogun State is the place to be. So please come and invest in Ogun State. You would not regret it.